Hello dears, welcome to Beauty for Heart. And Lily also nice little. Today I will be sharing with you this mini silky girl haul. Recently, Watson's and Guardian Pharmacies are having promotions, so this is a very good time for me to stock up my favorite products. Some of these products are fantastic. That's why I keep repurchasing them. And some are so-so, some are so if you are interested to know which are which, please continue watching. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. Thank you so much. In my channel, I'm doing cruelty free beauty products review. I love to explore makeup products from the drugstore, the indie brands and Sephora brands. So if you are interested in makeup products as well, please subscribe. Thank you. And so let's get started. Let me start off with the face product first, which is this Magic BB Cushion. When I was buying this, there is no makeup tester, so basically I'm just guessing my own colour. There is no colour display, so I'm just basing on my luck. For this BB Cushion foundation, there is no scent. It helps to lighten up my skin and makes it seem brighter. Coverage is medium, it can cover up 50% of my dark circle. After the few minutes, when the foundation settles down, it appears very natural on my skin. After a few hours, my whole face becomes glowy and this is the kind of effect I like. And because I have combination skin, dry use zone, oily t-zone, my nose area becomes oily after a while, which is expected. And then when it becomes oily, it becomes a little blotchy. But overall, I enjoy using this BB Cushion Foundation. Next will be this Face It Concealer. This is a liquid concealer. I usually apply concealer on my dark circles and also my monthly pimples. So today I have a small pimples over here, which I don't know whether you can see. I've applied this concealer over the pimples and it helps to cover about 80% of the redness. However, I realized after applying this concealer, I applied with the BB Cushion Foundation just now. That I share with you and also powder. Zooming you dears in, I do not know whether you can see this area over here. It becomes like white sesame seed and this area seems like the strawberry skin. It doesn't happen when I apply the BB foundation with powder alone. So I'm not so sure is it because of the concealer that triggers the look of the strawberry skin. On my dark circles area, because I'm in my 40s now, my skin over here is textured and also filled with fine lines. It settles into the fine lines and emphasizes on the texture. So I don't think this is the fault of the product because Silky Girl is mainly targeting at teenager girls and young girls and I don't think they will have this kind of skin issue. So probably I'm the wrong market and this is not designed for me. The product is described as it is lightweight and easy to blend and it provides superior long wear coverage effectively covers pimples, dark spots, dark circles and other imperfections while also diffusing the lines. It doesn't really diffuse my lines but I think that this product is so so maybe just not for me. Next will be this gentle eye makeup and lips removal. I always use this kind of dual layer makeup remover to remove my eye makeup and also lip makeup. When I converted myself into a cruelty-free user, I always use the brand of Revolution Beauty. However, their makeup remover is already discontinued. So after that, I shifted to BH Cosmetics. I love that eye makeup remover. It's just that it has a very strong scent. So whenever I remove my lip makeup, the scent gets into my mouth and stays the whole day. It's very irritating. So I do not use that for my mouth. And Nowadays, BH Cosmetics doesn't send to Singapore, so it's quite troublesome for me to get. And later on, I discover Silky Girl. I like the fact that it helps to remove the eye makeup effectively and it doesn't have any scent. It's also convenient for me so that anytime I need it, I'll just grab it at my nearest drugstore. And I've been repurchased this many, many, many bottles already. After removing the makeup, it is not very oily. So it feels very comfortable on my skin and it helps to remove the makeup in a very fast way, saving me time. It's also stated in their website that these are gentle on sensitive skin. So recently I've explored this brand for U2 eye makeup removal. It is scented. 
So again, I don't use it for my lip makeup. The longer I use this, the more I don't feel comfortable with this on my eyes because it will sting my eyes. So after finishing this bottle, I will still switch back to this Silky Girl Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. So this is a very good eye makeup remover. If you dears are looking for cruelty free options, please look out for this. Especially so when the drugstores are having promotion, you can stock this up. Another thing I've stocked up is the eyebrow pencil. I can never go without eyebrow. There are two kinds of eyebrow pencil over here. Let me start off with this. This is their high definition brown liner. I've already finished up a few. So this is already at the end. This is the older one. This is the current one I'm using and more over here. I discovered this last year. Back then when there's still makeup testers available in stores, I swatched it, I drew it on my hand and was quite surprised that this is highly pigmented. Because usually, especially for those hard formula, it can't show up when I'm doing swatch on my hand. But this is really pigmented. Okay, as you just probably can see, the pencil is a slanted angle round tip over here, which is quite quite broad. So you can use it like this when you want to use at a broader area. You can also turn at the side to outline the eyebrow or where you can need the precision. But because of the tip, which is the rounded one, I don't find it very convenient to draw for my eyebrow because my eyebrow is very thin and very narrow. Even when I use the side to draw for precision, I find that after a while the sides get rounded and it defeats the purpose. I love the color which is soft grey. Somehow I either like a soft grey or a brown high brown pencil because it suits my hair. So usually I will apply this soft grey together with the dark brown or brown. It comes with this very big bushy brush over here so it's actually very good to neaten up our brows before we draw them. So overall, I find that this is a good product. It's just that I prefer it to be the slim type. And this will be the Expert Brown Slim Liner. I've mentioned in one of my previous video when I discovered this, I much prefer this formula than my favorite ColourPop Precision Eyebrow Pencil. And nowadays, I just alternate between the two of them. There are two colors available, which is number one, Natural Brown. And this is number two, dark brown. It is a dual end. One is the spoolie, the other is the pencil, which you can scroll. And this is retractable. The thing about the packaging is, I've repurchased this many many times, and one of it, the spoolie came off. So this is the normal packaging. And this is the one that is with a flimsy packaging, the brush, the spoolie came off like this. So besides that, I like the formula and the slim tip. The tip is 18mm as stated in their website. And what it means is, it helps me to draw my eyebrow very easily and very precisely. This is waterproof. It's long wearing. By the end of the day, my T-zone will become more and more early. And when nothing touch my eyebrow, it pretty much stays the whole day. But if I were to use a finger to rub the eyebrow, then it will switch. In the website, it stated that this is paraben free. And this is $10.19 each. If you are a makeup beginner and want to learn how to do eyebrow, you can test this out because with a slim tip, it's much easier for us to draw. Alright, I just bought this mascara I think last week. This is still very new and usually a new mascara will be slightly more damp than when it's a few weeks old. So this is a dual ended one. This tiny slim brush over here. By right, this is for the under lash. The lower lash, not the under lash. But because I barely have any lash on the lower eyelid, so sometimes I also use this as my upper eyelash mascara. This is the other end. 
This is a waterproof mascara. As you guys can see, my natural lash condition is so pathetic. You can hardly see my natural lash. I also don't know why I picked this up. Mascara don't work on me anymore. As you can see, my lash is already curled. But once mascara touch my lash, the curl will drop immediately. And this is the condition of my lash. So I don't think this is the mascara fault. From my experience, besides the curl will drop, it does add volume on my lashes. Not so much of the lengthening effect, more to the volume effect. But after a while, it's merged slightly on my lower lid. So this is supposed to add volume and length to our lashes. To me, because of the condition of my natural lash, this doesn't work on me. After my dedicated swatch and review videos, one of my audience remarked that this is her very first Silky Girl lip products. She find that this is not very amazing and find that this is very tacky on her lips. I think it really depends on our lip condition but I will just avoid this. Alright guys, now it's your turn to share with me which of these 8 products have you already tried. Please comment in the comment section below yeah. Thank you so much. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Words are powerful, use them wisely. Thank you so much for watching dears. If you happen to like this video, please remember to subscribe, share, ring the notification bell so that you can watch more of my review videos and help you to save some money. And share it with your friends. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!